Alrighty, so it looks like some Guns N' Roses, Guns N' Roses news, Guns N' Roses, what is that? So Guns N' Roses news came out this week, there's actually a bunch of news. Um, let's start with the rumors first. So the rumor was that Axl Rose was found dead. Now if you've seen what Axl looks like, it looks like he hasn't been taking care of himself, his vocals are awful, his weight looks like it's, he looks like he's overweight, he posts his pictures on Twitter of what he's eating, doesn't look very healthy. And I'm sure a lot of people weren't surprised, but of course the rumor was false, and I think MSNBC actually ran with the story. It really shows you how pathetic our media is that they don't—they just take people's word on Twitter as the news and run with it. They want to break the story first, and they want to sensationalize everything. But getting back to Guns N' Roses, Axel was clever enough to tweet out something saying, well, if I'm dead, does that mean I don't have to pay taxes? Which I wouldn't expect anything less from Axel. So it turns out that that news was false. The other two bits of news is that Axel tweeted out a photo earlier this week of what appears to be a studio and some creepy image. But a lot of people speculated that the image could mean that we're going to see a new Guns N' Roses album pretty soon. If you've been paying attention to the news, apparently they recorded three albums worth of material for Chinese Democracy, which of course, as you know, was the most expensive album ever made and was not really that good of an album. I'm a huge Guns N' Roses fan. They're my favorite band of all time. And the current lineup is not Guns N' Roses. We don't call Paul McCartney the Beatles. John Lennon never called himself the Beatles. I think it's ridiculous that he calls himself Guns N' Roses. But that aside, I'm always interested to see what he releases for new music. So we may be seeing a new album pretty soon. The other interesting tidbit is that Richard Fortas, who's probably the 20th guitar in Guns N' Roses, um, was at a workshop in Australia and actually was asked a question about I guess new music and he said that they're working on a new album or new music and apparently some of the material that they're working on dates back to when Slash was in the band which as you know Slash left in October of 1996 and I think the sessions he may be referring to were for those ill-fated 1994 to 1996 sessions where the band got together they rehearsed but nothing was produced so maybe those songs will see the light of day it'll be very interesting but I think Guns N' Roses fans should just stay tuned and I'll definitely be posting any more videos with any more news coming out so thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit the subscribe button